Hey guys, JJ here, back with another Wednesday of Zoom Networking. We have the an unbelievable guest speaker with us today, uh, very well known within the Sub-T community. Uh, dear friend of mine, she started as a student, became an investor, is a mom, she runs a family and her business, uh, is is just highly respected within the Sub-T community, my good friend, Carly Grunman. Carly, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for having me here. Oh, I, I am fantastic. I'm fantastic. Just excited to have you here. Hey, let me ask you really quick. For those that don't know you, where, where in the country are you located? I am in the Seattle, Washington area. Who was that that said they're in Seattle? Hi, come to our meetups. Um, I'm right outside of Seattle. I'm in Gig Harbor, Washington, right outside of Tacoma, more than Seattle. Cool. Well, let's get into your background, how you got started. I know everybody had a different start into real estate. Is were you exposed to this in your teens? Was mom an agent, dad a contractor? Were you even thinking about real estate in your teens or twenties? Definitely not. <laughs> no. Um, I my parents had uh, built houses, and at one point they flipped houses. But for the most part, we were not in. Um, I mean, I've always been around it. My parents have been like passive real estate investors, but it's nothing I've been like super honed in on as a kid at all. Or in my teens. So how did, I mean, at what point in time did you find out about real estate or decide you wanted to get into it? Were you already married or before you got married or? So I, um, actually I've all, I always was very interested in real estate and loved hanging out on the MLS. And so actually in 2008, I live, my family's from Idaho and that Idaho is very susceptible to market shifts. So at that time, Idaho was the number one foreclosed on city in the country um, during that downturn. And I had bought a house for my, my parents helped me get it going. It was right in my late twenties. So I started out, I'm a late bloomer in my late twenties. Um, I was going back to school at Boise state. I thought I wanted to be a vet. I still want to be a vet, but chemistry is a bitch for me. Um, but uh, so I bought this house up on the bench and it was $93,000 from the bank. I had roommates that paid $350 a month. So it was like free, free house for me. And that kind of got it started. And ever since then, I've been passive income, a passive investor and always do- did it very traditionally um, where you go to the bank and you get a 30% down mortgage and, um, Actually, I heard of Pace. We bought the house that we're in now. We did this sub two, and I thought I was super illegal and committing for- mortgage fraud until Alex, my husband, sent me the Bigger Pockets episode with Pace, and he's uh, he like this is a thing and it's legal, and so that's what opened our eyes to the creative finance part. Um, and now I'm just like full force into it. Mike says, I, I hope you still have that house on the bench. I don't, Mike. He bought it for $93,000 and it's like, it's in a dumpy part of the bench too. Um, and it's like $400,000 right now. That's fantastic. So how'd you find out about Pace? How, how, how did that? Oh, that how was on the bigger pockets. And then how'd you make yeah. So um, I heard about him on the bigger pockets episode. Alex sent it to me. And Pace was on, Alex sent it to me and I was like, what we did is not illegal. Um, And so we did that. And then um, that was in January, Alex was up on his YouTube. So I can tell you so many people for Pace are like, I found him on YouTube. Alex was on his YouTube, joined the mentorship, did not tell me, I think it was like $8,000 at that time. I remember one night he told me and he's like, I joined this. And I was like, you joined a wholesaling mentorship? Like, When I said I wanted to go full force into real estate, I didn't want to be a whole, like you can't scale wholesaling. I thought he was a wholesaler. Pace likes to tell people I thought he was a scam. I did not think he was a scam. (laughs) Um, But so Alex joined and then I, um, he's like, just get in the Facebook group. I promise it's a little bit of everything. And I was just annoyed that he spent eight grand without telling me. And I got in there and then I was like, fine, clever summit happened for Cody Sperber. And I was like, fine, I'll go to this and I'll give it a shot. Alex is like, okay, I'm buying VIP backstage. Like you're going, I'm going all in on this, like go big or go home. And actually Vina Jetty came on um, our podcast and she said the same thing. And I will, that I will say right now is 
buy the VIP passes, spend the money because you get into those rooms. And that's where I met Pace um, for the first time. And it was awkward. You know, it's just like, I have nothing to say to you, but I want, <laughs> I want to introduce myself to you. And so I got to know him there. From there, we joined the Avengers and then, which I know you're in JJ. And then, so at the Avengers, for those of you who don't know, it's like Cody Sperber and Pace and Jamil and all these big real estate people. And it's their mastermind and you can network there. And that's where I started to network with Pace. And then I went to his mastermind, sub two mastermind. And we hit it off and he's like, I love your energy. I want you to work for me. You have such good energy. And so then, so that's how I met Pace and went down the rabbit hole with that. So now you're, you're working with Pace in some regard, as far as the social media aspect, you're very visible. Everybody knows you. Um, And your, your, your topic today obviously relates to networking and social media. Um, How, how, has your role grown from meeting pace to what you're doing today? For those that don't know you or know of you, what are you doing for pace today? How, what is your role as far as social media? So it has changed. Like as you, if you know, pace, you know, he's the energizer bunny and he has eight gajillion ideas. So it started out. I was just going to help him. He had this little baby idea of an elephant challenge for those of you guys that heard it. It's like JVing with sub two to get your first deal pretty much and basics of real estate. So that started a year ago and I was, the ringleader behind it and still am. So that, and then I was going to help him with his free group and social media, but then it kind of, it's just changed. It's gone from now. It's just morphed from like, um, I help him with his podcasts. He has two podcasts, wholesale hotline and get creative. I coordinate the guests and stuff for that. Same thing with the elephant challenge. I'm kind of out of the free group now. I just don't have as much time because I've moved into being the Gator community manager. So if anybody is a Gator, you've seen me around. I'm I'm there to hold your hand and help you into the Gator pond. Um, so that's what I'm mostly doing right now. I'm getting, it's taking up a lot of time. So I'm getting away from the social media aspect with him. Um, although I love it, but he's like, he told me the other day and it was the biggest, it was the biggest um, compliment he's ever had. He's like, you're really good at building culture in a community. And I want you to focus on that. And he was just like, I like your vibe. So I am basically just now the Gator community manager and I love it. I get to hang out with baby Gators every Tuesday. So that's what I'm doing now, mostly. So now for people that don't know what Gators are watching on YouTube, yeah. So a little bit about the Gator community and what, what Gators are, what Gators do and how that came about. You guys, Gator is amazing. So for those of you that are familiar with Pace and the whole go-giver aspect, it started out as like a little idea that he had where wholesalers need EMD to put down to go through there and um, help put down the EMD and then you take a big chunk of the deal. So you either get like a hundred percent back of like a $5,000 or you get part of the deal or a little bit of both. And so it started out with that. And of course, Pace has a million ideas and a million things, and he has just taken it so far. So it started out with EMD and it's all sorts of, it's called the Gator method, all sorts of um, helping people that need money in real estate, get what they need. And then you get a return on it. So right now we're in the middle of transactional lending Um, And he has just, I'm sure if you guys follow Pace, he's just inked a deal with a very well-known guy. I don't think he's announced the name yet. Um, You all know him. I know JJ, you know him. Um, He's actually, he's done very, very well. He has a business that he sold for a billion dollars with a B doing uh, business, helping businesses in and out of, so of um, like business lending. So usually small businesses are like artists or they are bakers and they are not businesses. So they get themselves into a mess and it's like, they get into like payday loans and then they're buried. And so then people can come in. There's so many things. So there's so many ways. So it's helping businesses get out of that debt that they're in and maybe buying businesses. He sold his business for a billion dollars for that. And he is coming in to help us with his business aspect. Um, Section four is loan sponsorship. There's all sorts of things that they do. Um, you can have a, if you don't have money, you can uh, come and JV with Pace and Abraham. You can be an affiliate for people that do have money and you make passive income. So um, Gator Method's amazing. And it is 
um, growing so fast. It's so fast. So, um, we have baby, uh, baby gators, baby hatchlings, and they come in and I help them along the way and, um, get them to where they need to go. So that's what gator is. If you guys have any questions about gator, um, off of this, we don't have to make it a whole gator thing. Feel free to DM me, um, on Instagram. I have my name up there. I'm not going to do my phone number because I can't put my phone number out the too many. I, oh. I can't being the gator oh. community oh. manager. Everybody will text me and I need everybody to go into to contact me with work in one place. So, so you want to be the Instagram, your so Instagram, yes, is the best place or DM me on Facebook. Um, those are the two best places if you okay. want to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to talk to you guys about that. It's it's pretty cool. Well, let's let's uh, let's slide into your topic of the day. Yeah. Uh, the importance of social media and real estate. Um I talk about that regularly. I'm glad that, you know, you wanted to bring this up and talk about this as your topic today. But um, why, why is this important? I mean, we have new investors coming to get education. We have experienced investors coming to get education. And every education platform has a Facebook page for its community, which in essence is a Facebook page or social media page. Why is social media important in real estate? You know, I think networking and social media go hand in hand. So you can, because social media is networking now. You just said people know your name before they know you in within social media. That's how people get to know you. And I, and people, it's the, the cheesy statement of your network is your net, net worth mm -hmm. is a thousand percent true. Percent. Right. Like, I feel like just like being in the Avengers with those just rubbing elbows with Dan Fleshman and Cody Sperber and Pace and Jamil. And just because we got to know each other there between the mask, the two masterminds I was in with Pace, like it has, we're like homies now and I'm working for him, you know? And so social media is huge. And I, social media, I know have, has always been huge, but especially since working for Pace, because so many people will reach out to me like, you guys let us know in the comments, like how many of you guys found Pace on social media, was introduced to Pace on social media? Every single person I'm like, Sean says, Mike says YouTube, that's how we found Pace was through YouTube. Like Pace has an entire team of editors behind him cranking out these YouTube videos and he's actually doing it. And I never realized until like going and traveling with, I go to other real estate events that Pace is at. There was at one in Boise at the circle event and Pace is a genius. It's so interesting to watch how he uses social media and his time. So he's there at this circle event. He rented out. So they have like a ballroom and like across the hallway, they rented out another room and he brought a, a real like legit, what's his name? Ben is his name. Um, videographer with lights and cameras. And he was like, I'm bringing every single person. That's a big deal in here uh, from bigger pockets and doing podcasts and interviews and YouTube content. Uh, Kevin Cho and Jake Villarette had come through from driving Jake's or, uh, paces escalate through there. And you go look on paces, social media right now, Jake is in there and it's from that circle event from that thing he rented out. So, it just goes to show like every single thing that he puts on social media is like, he's never, he's, he never stops with filming. Like he stops probably <laughs> to go to the bathroom and that's it. There's always content to be done. And it just paces a huge, he's blown up so quick. So just showing that and just pace mentioning my name, which, and bringing me up on stage. And you, you guys know, Mike knows and all, um, all you people know that that JJ knows that just that notoriety, people know who you are. And I'm still like, why do you, how do you guys know me? I'm like a no one, you know? And everyone's like, you're a big, you're, everyone knows Carly. And I'm like, really? Like, it's just so crazy because it's all thanks to social media, really. So yeah, it's, and, it's integral. And the, the crazy part about that is as we become more visible, uh, and we all make an effort to just participate by being visible and, and interacting. We all get to know one another to some extent. We get to know some people more personally. You and I have met a couple times personally. Yeah. Uh, but some that we don't get a chance to meet, we still get to know very well. Rachel Swartz, I've met her, I think, at one boot camp through a prior education group. But Rachel and I have been on dozens of Zoom calls together. Awesome. And when we met for the first time in person, it was like we, we'd known one another for years. Mm -hmm. and, 
that's part of the camaraderie that that comes about when people network together. Um, Absolutely. So um, outside of Pace, who else has been like really instrumental in in your your growth? Um, I can really say that Sub2 has the community of Sub2, of a close-knit community um, is huge. And I think the community of Sub2 and like – like there's people like that we know in sub two, like for so long, I love to tell the story about Mike key. He's in here. I was at that event in Boise and I got this deal and we started filming over at this house. I got sub two at pace and Mike was there and I knew Mike and we were like, I was like, Oh, Boise, that's my market. You're in Boise. And like, we would go, I, we followed each other in social and I'd reply to his stories and stuff. And Mike, I was like, come Mike. And I was like, come here. And I'd never met Mike in real life before, but because of that proximity, like I was like, Hey Mike, what's up? Like we were old friends. Like we knew each other, but we really literally have never met anyone in real life, uh, each other in real life. And so I think that's so important is that community where you, you find your people that you are all passionate about the same thing and you help each other. And that's, what's so different about Pace's community is it's, um, it's very, uh, go givery. If, if for the lack of a better world, everybody is there to give and help and pull each other up to the top. Yeah, you know that that's okay. really what I think separates Sub Two from any of the yes, kids. for sure. Uh, the the leader of any community can only do so much, but Pace has done it up properly by bringing in all the other folks. Mr. Jeremy Davis, you're on with Carly Grunman. What's your question? He's a big deal. He's an OG Sub Two. He is like. Um, all right, so here's my question. Carly and I have talked many, many times about social media, but I, I want to get Carly's take on podcasts. Okay, so we see there's a lot of podcasts that are being uh, built out right now, and we see that there's high quality, there's low quality, there's in-person podcasts, there's virtual podcasts. I'm just curious, um, not just for me, but in general, if you were to start a podcast, um, like JJ, this is a podcast, right? Would you consider this a podcast? I would. Like, what would you, Carly, if you were to just start from the very beginning and design something, what would it be? I actually did, but I don't tell anyone about it because I'm so like Elena really helped me with this. So um, we, I have a podcast, but I don't talk about it enough. It's on the mindset. It's called building an empire state of mind. I just realized I've got that mic on over there. I forgot to switch it to this one over here. Thank you for pointing that out, uh, Joel. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, sorry about that. Oh yeah, that's so much better. So um I I'm big on mindset. I worked with Elena a lot, Elena method. You guys should go follow her on Instagram on someone, Mike or someone just posted, like, don't talk about that. That's negative self-talk. So I worked with a lot of that. And I think mm-hmm. mindset is such like a fickle beast. Like people don't understand how big of a deal mindset plays in your success. And I was talking to Vina Jetty. She was on our podcast and she's like, I have imposter syndrome all the time. And I'm like, Vina Jetty, who's like the multifamily queen, who's done a billion with a B dollars in transactions. And she's like all the time. And so is that what you were asking what the topic would be? Either the topic or like what style would you do? I mean, like, like Dan Fleischman, what does he have? He has a mobile home now or a motor home that he's doing a podcast. If you had the perfect podcast, what would you do? Um, I, I love interviewing people. I don't like being the center of tension. So we, I love to interview people and get other people's stories. I love, I love learning people's stories. I would love to do it in an RV because that's starting to be my, like the lane that I'm going down. I love the idea that he does it in RV. And I think Christina Solara, um, is doing a podcast in an RV that she got sub to too. So I love that idea. But I think podcasts are so huge. Um, I was at one of the Avengers things in Boston and I was in Pace and Jamil's breakout session. And my business partner now, Jennifer Champion, was asking a question. And it was like this whole thing about like imposter syndrome and like how and Jamil and Pace were like, you need to put yourself out there. And we were both like, that's so barfy for us to put our face on social media or to make even a podcast. And so that's where the podcast was born out of. Whereas like you have to get past that judgment of social media or podcasts or people judging you. And so we really just made that for a, a crutch to like get over ourselves and our, our fear of judgment. And, um, 
So yeah. So mindset is what I, I'm really interested in learning about and how it can uh, create or destroy your success. Love it. Good answer. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You guys go follow Jeremy. He's going to have a podcast soon, right? This, this room behind me, guys, this is my, my doom right now. I, um, I've been overthinking this room for so long. This is where I create my content. Like I do my social media stuff here, but in regards to actually getting the podcast up and running, I have been very much struggling very much, but, um, that's a mindset thing. It is. It's a mindset thing. If you guys go back and watch Case and Jamil's last wholesale hotline from last Monday, it's all about mindset and how you can't say that's like how it just can be like the thing that just catapults you to success. Right. Yeah. I was, I was talking to Mike Key about this yesterday. Like the thing that's holding me back the most, like, so Pace was in, in this room, we did a podcast together Yes. and I thought the lighting looked terrible. Like it was, it was really dim. People were commenting that it's blurry and stuff like that. So now I'm like, oh no, no, I can't have someone else in here until I get lights to come down right here and make it look perfect. So no, I'm overthinking by far on this one. Like this light right here, I can move this around, but I want my studio to be my like man cave. I want it to be perfect. And so, yeah, um, I'm just being stupid. I'm being dumb. Imperfect action. I know. I know. It's, it looks good. Thank you. The background looks good. It does. Well, Jeremy, I can't you know, Jeremy, I can't wait to see your podcast, but also I need to get you back on mine because you're one of my first guests. I want to get you back on here. I, I think you're my, you know, second or third sub two uh, rock star. We've just passed 80 of them. So you we're overdue to get you back in here. Yeah, man. You know, I got a lot to talk about. So uh happy to do so. Mr. Mike Key, you're on with Carly Grunman. Awesome. What's your question, Mike? Howdy. Howdy. All right. So as you launched your podcast, has this opened up more opportunities, more deal flow to you? And how would you say leveraging social media has maybe brought more to you in terms of access to opportunities you probably wouldn't have had? Oh my thought. God. That's such a good question. So you guys, Mike was actually one of our podcast guests. Um, and Absolutely. It has brought access. I think that's something I didn't mention the importance of not just podcasts, not just social media, not just networking. They can all go in the thing is it deal flow is where it brings. So, um, absolutely people, you put yourself out there and people recognize your name and people like the power of proximity is huge. Um, just being on a podcast with, um, with people that are are doing stuff like Vina Jetty was on our podcast and Jennifer and I are like, what? She's such a big deal. Why would she want to be on our, po-? you know, like, it's just like, because it's all a mindset thing, but for deal flow, for sure it has been. Um, and people will jump into my slide into my DMS and be like, I have a deal. You want to help me with it? And I'm like, absolutely. Um, and what I've done, I actually, was so many people that were jumping in. Um, the elephant challenge is something where you can JV with sub two students where they leave zooms. And then, you know, you JV and help them get their first deal. I was like, I should just be an elephant challenge leader. And I ended up being an elephant challenge leader. I'm like, I would love to help one, you one person, but I'm only one person. I'm like, why don't we put all these people that want help into a zoom and I'll help you. And so, yes, it has massively helped with, with deal flow. Um, and, Actually, at that event in Boise that we were at, somebody walked up to me because they knew me and we made a connection and then I had a deal and I ended up selling it to her. So she walked up to me, introduced herself to me, and then I ended up doing a deal with her. So Amazing. Yeah. So it's huge, huge for deal flow. It's like the doors that will open up success is social media, podcast, networking, proximity, all of it. And Mike is a social media pro. You guys should go follow him. Yeah, really is. He's good. He is a he's good. He's really good. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the way Mike, you've got your your Facebook, Instagram linked in there uh with your name, just just Mike Key. Um, your Instagram handle. You're doing it right. You've been doing it right. I commend you from the moment I've watched you and met you. Thanks. You've just taken off. And that's why we're gonna have you as a speaker on my call in the near future. Um, is did Carly, answer your question, Mike. Yeah, she did. I just want to know, when are you going to launch your RV course? Oh, my God. You know, Daniel Hijano said I should do that, too. Oh, I yeah. might, I'm still learning. Funnel and course. 
imperfect action. Someone wrote messy action. So I somehow have created, acquired a sub two RV and a creative finance van. And, um, I am, I am learning as we go. Like, it's just like, you kind of figure it out as you go. And I'm actually doing a zoom on Sunday because so many people are like, how did you get this van? How did you get this stuff? What are you doing with it? And so many people have questions. So I'm doing a zoom on Sunday. If you guys want to come, it's free. It'll replay on my YouTube, just like this, where you guys can come ask questions and I, I'm an open book. So maybe one day, Mike, we'll see. Well, Carly, we may have to have you back to speak about that. Yes. This is just something that I've just fallen into, which I love. Back on. Mike, thank you very much for your question, my friend. Let's you and I catch up soon. Carly, I really want to thank you for being on today. Thank um, you for having me. Love to have you longer, but after we, we have schedule constraints. That's what we're going to work I'm with. so sorry. Oh, it's okay. We're going to have you back. Um, oh, yes, please. Two things I wanted to ask you. Yes. I think I have the answer to the first one. If people want to follow up with you about anything at all, the best way to reach you is through your Instagram, correct? At Carly Instagram. Software. Yes. And my link in bio has like, if you want to JV with me, if you want to learn more about Gator, blah, blah, like all the things on Instagram, DM me there at Carly.Grenman. Um, first and last name with a, a period in the middle. And that's, I'll be there. So. Awesome. Yes. Um, my last question before we part. Okay. I have a networking group, and I'm always talking about the importance of networking. After a while, I become the talking head. But for yourself, for someone who's so intricately involved, you're you're at pace aside. You're running the the Gator program. You've been involved with Elephant. And you've into you sub two with the Avengers and all these different things. How important is networking? Oh my God! Social media for the new or the seasoned investor. How important is it maybe joining a group like mine in addition to just networking? You guys, it is absolutely integral. It's like saying how important are legs to running pretty much. Uh, it very important. It's like when I decided to go full-time into investing and we went balls to the wall and we're like, let's go to the sub two mastermind, join sub two, go to the backstage pass at, it's clever, get Avengers. That's what really took me off. That's how I know JJ um, is, is through that. That's how I know a lot of you guys. It literally is. If it, I always tell people um, networking and relationships, people buy from no, and do business with people they know, like, and trust. Nobody buys off of a cold call or spam text. Usually I know we all cold call with, with, things to get properties. But for the most part, people will do business with people they, they not like, they know they trust and they, and they feel comfortable with. So it's, you can't have a business without relationships and you can't have relationships without networking. Awesome. Thank you so awesome. much. If you, yes. guys are, if you guys are watching the car right now on YouTube. Please like Carly's presentation. Please put some Thank comments there in, in the notes section about what your takeaways were. If you're on the call right now, do not go away. Uh, Donna Bell, do not go away. Joel, do not go away. We really want to talk to you guys. Um, for everybody else watching the call, thank you for being here. Look for more videos coming out soon with Flipside with JJ. We have more great, great guest speakers coming up from Pace Barbie Sub to community, outside the community, just great people all around. So, Again, thank you for joining us. Carly, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful for having me on here and grateful to everybody that is here. Thank you for coming to support JJ and I. And you guys, JJ is a master at networking. Listen to him, follow him, get in his networking group. I am telling you, it is going to change your life and to change your business. That and your mindset. <laughs> Those are like so important. Um, follow JJ is amazing. Um, I can't recommend him enough. So thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you for coming, bringing me on here. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you so much. You know, I say it all the time that the real goal that we have is not the deals. It's not the transactions. It's not the wealth that we amass which is what we go seek out in the beginning. The real gold are the relationships we take away and those people that it's we so call true. our friends. And I'm, I'm blessed to call you a friend and, and, thank you. and thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you. And um, have a good day, everyone. Okay. We'll see y'all later guys. Okay. Bye. Over now.